O oh, captain, my captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every wreck. The prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting while follow eyes the steady keel, the vessel grim and daring. But oh, heart, 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 oh, the bleeding drops of red where on the deck my captain lies, fallen cold and dead. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> You might recognize that poem, or might simply guess by reading the title of this video, that Oh Captain, My Captain is one of Walt Whitman's most famous works. And if you watch Breaking Bad, you might know the book Leaves of Grass, a collection of Whitman's poetry that's given to Walter White. Walt Whitman spent his entire life writing Leaves of Grass and revised it several times before his death. Okay, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Walt Whitman was born in 1819 and raised in a family that took an interest in Quaker beliefs. He only went to school until he was 11, given his parents' low economic status, their lack of money to raise him and his other eight siblings meant moving around a lot, and Whitman as a result considered his childhood restless and unhappy. It was as early as 1850, while Whitman would have been 31, when he started writing Leaves of Grass. Only about 800 copies were originally printed. It was highly praised by fellow poet Ralph Waldo Emerson, who recommended the book to many people. Walt's brother George said the book wasn't worth reading, which is ironic because it's really popular now and probably totally worth reading. It is totally worth reading. I've read it. It's great. So sad his own brother would say that. <laughs> Expect support from family. Anyway. At first, many people agreed with George Whitman, calling the book obscene and offensive for some of its sexual themes, and he was actually fired from at least two of his jobs after his bosses read his book. There's just so much about this guy, it's time for Random Rapid Facts! <laughs> Whitman believed in temperance of alcohol and occasionally argued for prohibition. He accepted all churches and embraced all religions, but didn't believe in any of them. It's debated on whether or not Whitman was homosexual or bisexual. He opposed slavery. He believed in the authorship question of Shakespeare, which is a theory that Shakespeare did not actually write all the works that were attributed to him. And scene. During the Civil War, Whitman fought on the side of the North and was profoundly affected by the violence he saw. His poem, Oh Captain, My Captain, was written during this time, as well as Beat Beat Drums, one of his other most famous poems. He suffered a stroke in 1973, which caused his health to decline, and he died in 1892 of inflammation around the lungs and tuberculosis. While Whitman left behind more than just his poetry, he's considered to be one of the most influential poets because his work broke the boundaries of normal poetic structure. Some consider him to be the father of free verse, although he didn't invent it. He did use similar that was uncommon, such as rotting leaves and debris. Another previously unseen thing that Walt Whitman was known for was his poetry that talked about sexuality openly, as well as death and even prostitution. He was also called the poet of democracy because he was able to write in a context that was so singular to the American character. His friend Mary Costello wrote that you couldn't understand America without reading Whitman's Leaves of Grass. Fun fact, it's even been said that his poetry has been set to music more than any other poets besides Emily Dickinson and Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Walt Whitman was a teacher, journalist, government clerk and volunteer nurse during the Civil War, but also an amazingly influential poet. Have you ever tried your hand at poetry? Leave a comment letting us know. If you like this video, please click the button and maybe even subscribe. Click this annotation to go to our blog and read more on Walt Whitman. I'm Jared. And I'm Ashley, and this is Honors Grad U.